What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day and today's video we are going to be taking a look at the full release of the Android 10 the first build from the Pixel phones GSI on any kind of phone that you like so again this is a GSI from Irfan and you can almost flash it on any kind of phone just you have to find a specific vendor for it and then again it's a GSI it could have bugs but as you can see oh here right now I'm running it on my Redmi Note 7 Pro with a Pixel experience vendor and it just works great again I won't be explaining everything that comes with the Android 10 as there is a complete website about it and then again I will be just telling you guys what are the things that I found which are a bit different or I just completely forgot to mention in my previous video so I've been making each and every single beta video with the generic which comes from the Google officially and then a pixel portrait from Irfan well for this time I would be making a generic one cause it just basically doesn't have anything it's just dp6 more fixed and just final release so again oh here I would be only reviewing the pixel ported one as it has more features and most probably this is the one you guys will only install so again let's just take a look so here as you can see you can basically swipe anywhere to just go to the app drawer it just doesn't has to be like this so again as you can see your home screen pretty much looks the same you don't have the pill right over here it's actually hidden on the home screen you can directly go to it just like this also you still can't access the recent as panel through the app drawer you have to actually come back in order to go to it but then again the animations for it are just so smooth there are no hiccups and barely it misses anything so for example going through mohon app again the performance is pretty on par for a budget phone then again there is support for the latest google camera 6.3 again on the left you have the google now as before tap to update it pretty good then again going back going through more system UI and stuff you have your volume rocker still as before from the buy but now you can expand it and control pretty much everything which was much needed i don't know why google removed it but then again going through the quick settings panel these are your normal toggles now there are no new toggles and you still get your build number right over here which is a bit weird that you get in a stable build but going through the toggles pretty much everything is just the same you do get grayscale inverted colors then again you have screencast night light all the toggles have been now updated right over here they get like a bit of a wireframe UI as you can see but then again you have dark theme toggle right over here also overrack dark theme has been returned and it just works great as before as we see in developer preview file but still it's in developer options not as the miui which directly has it in the display so again great job over there Xiaomi. but then again let's just go through the apps and the app drawer doesn't have a hiccup anymore it's as smooth as any kind of oneplus launcher on anything or even the poco launcher but pretty normal set of apps right over here then again going through the more apps digital well-being and stuff is still the same there's no parental controls right in built over here you do get it separately so again that's pretty neat because it was getting a bit cluttered right over here then again going back going through the wallpapers and stuff to be honest as this is a pixel 2 port you do get live wallpapers over here but using any of this will cause mega hiccups and lag throughout the system so again if you want to use it you can use this bottom once but then again, if you just want to use live wallpapers, you can of course use this Kama Live once. For example, right now I'm using this one and it will give you very tinted info about the wallpaper or just you can preview it or set up it right over here, which is again pretty nice touch by the Google Wallpapers app. Then again, pretty much nothing. You do get file manager and stuff. And of course, it can be overrated to the dark mode right over here. There you go. Looks pretty clean, which is impressive to be honest. So let's just go to the settings directly. So again in the settings there are not much change pretty much it's everything same from the developer preview 6 but you do get future stable settings which i won't actually recommend touching if you are not a developer but seriously going down apps and notification you still get your notification assistant which is bit more improved so for example earlier you would get a notification they actually get separated throughout like silent notifications normal notifications but if you receive a link for example i get time to time from my instagram from you guys it will give me an option to just directly open it into the Chrome right over here, which is very handy. But speaking of Instagram and you guys, bunch of you guys just don't respect my time and just keep on messaging, Devang, I can't install magics. Devang, Xiaomi is not giving me unlock permissions. Well, I can just literally go ahead and now pause the app right over here and it will not give me any notification. So for example, in DND mode, it will give you notification, but not make any kind of noise or vibration. With this option, I can literally pause the app until I can just finish the movie or have my lunch peacefully then again going back display and stuff pretty much everything is just the same the layout seems a bit different but then again as this is a redmi note 7 pro and i'm running a pixel experience vendor right over here everything that is seen over here works completely for example double tap to wake there you go completely works then you have lock screen display in that you have no playing and stuff again completely works 
Then again, going down, you have privacy permissions and stuff, which I've included in almost like my five videos. Then again, you have location, which over here you can just now select for app based location services. So for example, my Snapchat uses location. Of course, I can just set it for it. I don't have to just keep it in background running all the time. Then again, you have security, you have play, protect, find my device, everything working and the security patches, the latest September 5, which is like tomorrow. Now you will be getting from the Play Store. So again, now going down accessibility and everything pretty much still the same before. If you want to now use your accessibility setting, now you can directly access it right over here, just like that. Live transcribe right over there. But speaking of live transcribe, I still can't get the live captions working over here. For example, going to the photos app, I have downloaded this uh, live stream from Selena Gomez, I guess, and there is literally no option for live caption. Like literally there is nothing to just enable it. So again, I don't know what's wrong with me, but going back pretty much nothing new over here. So going directly to the system, gestures, system gestures. Again, your gestures are pretty much the same, but you do get this settings icon over here. So you can now quickly adjust this back sensitivity right over here. So for example, if you have a curved screen phone, which you would be seeing a lot of, like there is a new term waterfall display. So for example, the display just completely curves to the corner, which is like the stupidest idea cause it won't be easy to use. And then again, it will just get more scratches. But for devices like OnePlus 7 Pro and stuff, which do have curved screens, it would be very handy. And then again, the gestures are pretty great over here. They don't miss as before. I mean, MIUI and every other company just uh, nailed it on first try, like even OnePlus. They adjusted the animations after like few open betas, but still it's pretty great. It's very smooth. There are uh, barely any missed touches throughout the system, but still, if you want to access your Hamburg menu, it's pretty hard. You have to just grab it right over here, still no. In the middle, you have to just tap it. There you go. Still, I would prefer OnePlus or MIUI, which do allow you to just grab it through over here, but still there is a back on the top too, which is just the weirdest thing. Even going to the advanced, pretty much nothing. You have system update. And going back about phone section, you have Android version 10. Again, the build number is hidden cause of the earphones GSI tool. So directly going to the Easter egg, it's not that impressive. It's a nonogram. So I don't actually have a whole idea on it, but basically, you have to just grab this one and kind of make it like a Q. Just like that. There you go. The Easter egg has been activated. Now you can just double tap on the Android logo or just hold on it. So for example, you can just make any kind of icons throughout the system and it will tell you what's the string of it. So for example, I will just literally waste a bit of a time over here in trying to make a nonogram. So let's just try. Or I can just give up, but you can basically make a battery icon and stuff and it will tell you what kind of icon it is. I kind of like the days where it was just flappy bird and there were some Android Easter eggs based on deserts. Yeah, I'm still that kind of guy. I still think Google should have gone like till Z like Android 26 and then continued this thing, but they wanted a bit more easier approach to the Android and then again the security patches and stuff with Play Store so they can make it more mainstream without actually updating the Android completely. So I guess for them, it just makes a bit of a sense. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the Android 10 full release. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's pretty much everything to do with Android. And if you want installation videos for pretty much all the phones that I have, please subscribe down there. Be sure to like and share this video with your phone and tech groups. It would be a lot of help and see you guys in the next one. Peace.